morning, everybody. Turn right on to State Highway 99 W South. Thank you, Jeeves. It is Sunday, June 30th, the last day of June, and um, we are headed over to the coast for the day. Uh, it's 10, 19 a.m., and we're going to go to the Oregon Coast Aquarium. So we are going to, in Newport, we're going to go exploring and... Um, in half a mile, turn left onto Southwest 124th Avenue. He's kind of a nag. Why are you telling everybody where we live? Tell everybody know. Well, it's just where we're driving. Okay. Sometimes I cut Jeeves out. Fun fact. Okay. Yeah, cut, cut him out. Because sometimes I cut Jeeves out. Um, so anyway, so we're headed to the coast for the day. We'll bring you along and... In 1,000 feet. Turn left. having fun at the aquarium. If you're watching this, you've seen all the clips. I want to know why I can't find this at the store when I want to go buy bottled water. It's in a can. I'll be looking for this. So we're driving around uh, on the coast uh, on 101 North and we just drove us by a state park that was called the Devil's Punch Bowl. So I'm a little undecided as to whether that sounds like a really fun or a very scary place to be. I don't know. But I think I kind of like the name. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. It will be fun. The Devil's Punch Bowl. Who knew? I almost forgot to vlog today. It's Monday, July 1st. 
uh, 4.53 p.m. Don't get excited, I'm watching YouTube. <laughs> I have been editing video all morning and working on some Etsy listings, um, which I have to finalize still, taking photographs. Um, the editing was a little challenging because one of the videos that's coming out, um, my head's in the way, there was no way to cut that out, and yeah, so anyway, sorry guys in advance. Um, I was cleaning off my table also, getting ready for July, so um, I got the first couple projects for July done. I'll be sharing them on Instagram and social media later. I need to catch up my June journal, um, but I'm going to not do that today. I'll maybe do it tomorrow. And um, we're going to a neighborhood 4th of July thing, so I need to figure out what I'm bringing. I need to send out some emails later. that's it for the moment the husband is home uh, all week he's off he's outside on the back patio having a cocktail and some a snack Doritos I think and uh, yeah I'm watching YouTube while video is saving and yeah it's a nice quiet Monday at home just how I like it I'll be hey back. everybody it's Tuesday July 2nd I almost said June it's July it's July uh, it's already 1.18 p.m. What have we done? Why didn't I vlog earlier? No reason. We were just goofing off around the house. Oh, and doing stuff upstairs. Oh yeah, neighbors are getting their house painted. Be interesting to see what color. Um, now we're going to go get a few groceries. We're attending a block party for 4th of July, so we need to bring dessert. And... We want to go back to the library, and I want to stop at Michael's, so we're going to go do all that, and we'll be back. I'm wait for Bob to repark the car, because that was a bad part. I should say we had a tornado touchdown in northeast Portland yesterday, July 1st. You can probably look it up on the news on the internet somewhere. We weren't affected, because we're south of Portland, but I feel sorry for those people that were. A lot of um, damaged homes and trees down and yeah, all kinds of fun stuff, so. Anyway, we're gonna go return all the CDs that we borrowed and see what else we can get up to. I'll be back. We're at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. We're on our way to the space side. I fully expected to be bored today. That didn't happen. Nope. It's really fascinating and I'd recommend it for anybody who's in the area of McMinnville and you wanna come visit. All right, that's it. We're gonna go see some space capsules. We'll be back. This is a really cool, interesting museum, both the space and airplane side, um, airplane aerospace side. Um, I do recommend it for anybody in the area to visit. If you want to see my thoughts and more pictures, my thoughts on the museum and more pictures um, that I'm going to use some or all of in Inspiration for Art coming up, um, I'm posting them over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year, uh, the one where I teach at with my friends. So. You're going to have to head over there. There's also a little video for me, a little talk for me about art and inspiration. So the link to join is in the description below. All right, that's it. I'll be back. We got the rest of our day to do, including eating some lunch. I'm starving. I do want to show you all. Talk about old school computer systems. This is a replica of the control room 
for said Titan nuclear missile, by the way, in case you didn't know that's what that was behind me. Uh, whoop, wait, hold on. That big silver, that's a Titan nuclear missile. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. We stopped to have a snack before we leave to run the rest of our errands. And there again is the spruce goose behind me. Can you see it and compared to that plane next to it? Those are fighter planes. That's the spruce goose. Its body length is the same width around and slightly shorter than the old, what is it, the old Boeing 747s? But the wingspan is the longest wingspan on any plane, any plane ever, and probably always will be. To quote the tour guide, 320 feet. 320 feet. The propellers are 17 feet tip to tip. I'm only five foot three on a good day. Yeah, it's huge, just gigantic. Anyway, we're gonna go run the rest of our errands. I'll be back. windows open so every time the neighbors are in their side yard or talking in the driveway I can hear every it sounds like they're in the house <laughs> anyways how are you guys today it's July 4th it's 2 13 p.m. and yeah so far so good um, we were up pretty late last night getting a bunch of stuff done I don't think we got to bed until after midnight after the um, Air and Space Museum, we went out and ran a bunch of errands. My husband really, really, really needed a new computer, so he'd already researched which one he wanted, and there's a bunch of good 4th of July sales going on right now. If you need technical equipment, now's the time to buy it, um, if you're in the U.S. anyway. So um, we went and did that last night, so he spent the rest of the evening, and he's upstairs today transferring files and getting things hooked up and yeah so anyway we are going to be attending a fourth of july party at a neighbor's house today at about four o'clock which will be fun and we're bringing dessert i got to put some more puffy eye gel on and a little bit of makeup stuff like that i'm working on some laundry i already did my um, I did another paper clip today, I did a tag, and I did my daily drawings already, they're already done, so I think I'm going to post them early, so I don't have to worry about doing it later. I did find a, um, small hole in the upstairs fiberglass bathtub. So, so at some point during the whole issue that we had upstairs at the leaky toilet, somebody dropped something and it put a hole in the bathtub. Not a big hole, it's a little tiny hole. So we're gonna have to see if we can patch it. It's not a tub and shower we use. Unless there's company over, that shower never gets used. But in case we do have company, we need to patch that hole so that it doesn't leak to the downstairs because that would be bad. So, and I don't really wanna replace the whole tub. Yeah, fun times. Anyway, that's it for the moment. So now my husband's got a DIY to do because he doesn't want to really pay anybody unless we have to. So he's going to try patching it. And uh, yeah, good thing he doesn't go back to work until Monday. <laughs> All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. At least I think it's still morning. Hold on. It's July 5th. It's Friday. It is technically still morning, 11.46 a.m. And so obviously I'm upstairs in the art room and I've been playing and creating just a little bit. I did another tag today uh, and I made another paper clip today. Um, if you wanna see those kind of things that I make every day, um, then um, you need to follow me like on Instagram or, or um, over in the Facebook. Um, my one of my groups, um, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. The tags are being shared over in My Creative Year, which is another group. Um, 
all those links where to support the free content here on YouTube along with my Twitter and all of that stuff they're all in the link tree list of links um, so which is in the video description so check it out anyway um, so I was doing that today I also hang on let's see if I can do this without spilling I also took a hammer to an old hard blue CD case you know a hard hard plastic and I'm using bits of that in, in art and you know it, I'm, I'm really enjoying using what I have using the un unexpected and unusual and also making my own, own embellishments I'm really really enjoying that um, and that's going to continue going forward for the foreseeable future so anyway my husband is out getting some hardware parts because we He's gonna do a couple of DIY projects for me here around the house before he goes back to work Monday. And tomorrow is my niece's baby shower. She's expecting and due in September for her first baby, a little boy. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna drive up to her house, which is about an hour and a half or so away tomorrow and uh, celebrate with her and her family and bring her some gifts and yeah. We were with the neighbors at the 4th of July barbecue at their house last night until very late in the evening, but it was a lot of fun getting to know everybody, and I would do that again in a heartbeat. So it's it's nice finally settling into the new neighborhood and getting to know everybody, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I need to go check the mailbox, and I need to eat some lunch because now I'm, I'm hungry. All right, so I'll be back. say last night we had a lot of discussions uh, as we were getting to know everybody with people just, you know, basically don't be an asshole. And so, um, and I had a lot of really interesting discussions with people, which was amazing. I am socially awkward on a good day, but it was a really fun time and hopefully I made a good impression, but I guess I'll find out in a couple of days. Um, but I was inspired today to wear my don't be an asshole t-shirt. If you want merch like this, or I have a lot of other things, go visit my Teespring, um, which um, should be linked in the description below. Again, it's in the link, link tree list of links. You can get shirts, you can get leggings with my artwork on it. I have the don't be an asshole, be a decent human, and also be a rainbow. If you want to know what I mean by those without assuming that you think you know what I mean, let me know, because we'll have a little talk. All right, I'm gonna, do some more laundry and have some lunch. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I can say that because technically it's still morning. It's 1119. It's Saturday, July 6th. I almost said 5th. Um, we are headed into Olympia, Washington for our niece's baby shower. Uh, we're gonna be great aunt and uncle again. I don't know if I should be happy or annoyed about that, but um, it is what it is, right? So anyway, I'm glad that she's um, happy and having a baby and yeah, I can't wait for the little boy. It's a little boy, can't wait for him to be born. So anyway, we're headed up to do that and I'll of course visit with my parents while we're up there, so. I'll film what I can when I can and bring you with us and I'll be back. While we're in Olympia, Washington, we're going to stop at Hobby Lobby on the way home. Against his better judgment, but I talked him into it. But my niece, Katie, and her husband, Brendan, um, the very happy parents-to-be are going to make great parents. It was a fun party and I can't wait for their little baby, Paxton is his name, going to be born. Paxton Gunner? Paxton Gunner, right? Paxton Gunner Hay. Yes, their last name is Hay, like the grass. Hey! Hey, yeah, anyway. All right, that's it. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, I'll be back.
guys, it is after six o'clock on Saturday. We uh, got home a little while ago. I put my hair up. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was fun, but it was a long day, a lot of driving. Anyway, I got the husband to, as you know, stop at Hobby Lobby on the way home. And I picked up a few things. So I could have probably gone to the dollar store and saved a little money, but uh, Hobby Lobby was there. So I got a cheap $4 glue gun, low, uh, high temp one. I also got some, and I've never used before, colored glue sticks. So I have an idea for um, another sort of embellishment thing that we're gonna try with that, and maybe regular hot glue, which I also have. I picked up some more polymer clay. So I'm gonna try some Patty Tolly Parish style polymer clay tiles, along with making some more of the um, little, what do you call them? These, from the wax, whoops. Can you tell I'm tired? Uh, from the wax seals, but out of polymer clay. Um, so I wanna make some more of these. I think I'm like completely out of the black. So, um, hopefully black was one of the colors I got because it was a color I meant to get. Yes, yes, it's in here. <laughs> so I got black, white, some more white. I got some turquoise and I got some purple. And um, yesterday in the mail, I got a new seal from Wish. This is some um, ginkgo leaves, if I'm not mistaken. And I think there's a couple more coming too, so... Um, I was missing a stencil in my, actually my um, prototype collection, so it went straight to manufacturing and to sale on Etsy, and I never even had one in my stash, so there you go. Um, so that was interesting, but yeah, so we have that. Um, what else? Uh, she said the parts. Um, for those who are wondering, my friend Carla McCants um, cuts stencils and things. She has an Etsy store. I'll link it below. Um, I got some quilling paper because now my friend Vicki and also Kelly Dobrinsky have started this thing with quilling. And immediately I got an idea for some embellishments um, I, we could all be using in mixed media. I've never done quilling. I've done paper beads before. So I do have quite a few tools I think that would cross over. I did pick up a few things like some more pins that I don't mind getting gluey because my sewing pins are not going to touch the glue. Um, and I did get um, I did get a quilling tool, although I do think maybe some of my paper bead tools might work for at least, maybe not for proper quilling, but for what I have in mind. So we're going to be playing and experimenting and I also got a cork board. So yay for me. And you know what? The computer hasn't been on all day. Sorry for the funky lighting, holy cow. The computer hasn't been on all day and I'm not gonna turn it on. I sweet talked my friends into doing my daily social media posts for me or begged and pleaded. I think they did a good job. What do you all think? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, I do daily uh, posts, uh, today's thoughts and, and creative wanderings in A Life of Art and Self-Expression, Artsy Endeavors, Art Joy of Sharing, and Leslie's Creative Studio. So, I will link all said groups in the description below. You can go back and look at today's post and tell me what you think. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook, or follow me on social media, all of the links and where you can do that are in the link tree list of links, which is in the description below, along with my happy mail address and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check it out. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. I'm gonna go have some pizza. I'll be. I'll see you later next week. All right. Bye.